Good morning, everybody. I'm Barry Harris, here to do the news one time only. I'll have a little help from my friends. Would everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please stay tuned for this morning's version of Kaleidoscope. IHS TV, Channel 11. And now, Barry Harris and the K-Scope News Team. This is Kaleidoscope News, this morning. And it is my honor to say to you, good morning, Edinburgh High School. Today is May 26, 2010. I'm Barry Harris. I'll be doing the news for the day. And most importantly, we have some special guests coming up, filling in on the rest of the segments. But first, we'll start with some news. A great time is had by all at the Senior Prom on Friday night. The Digital Media Club will be selling DVDs of the prom for $10. Please see Mr. D in room 202 in the TV studio for your copy. IHS 2010 All Color Yearbooks will be here before you know it, so be sure to reserve your copy right now. See Mrs. Schwartz, Mr. Pattinson, or Mrs. Powers in the main office for more details. Now, over to weather. Good morning, Dave. And the weather today will be more cloudy with a high of 92. Today will low 74. Great temperature is 61. Room is, is at 93.20. And rises now over projects. Cha 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 cha. Good morning. This is Mr. D with the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Jimmy Darby, Harrison Jones, Philip Morales. Kyle Rasley. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Coach Benini with today's top headlines. British, British Petroleum will make their sixth attempt to stop the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico, which resulted from an offshore drilling ex explosion 37 days ago. It's being called Operation Top Kill. Let's all get together and wish BP a lot of luck in getting this situation taken care of. Now back to the news desk. May function will be held this Friday. As you know, all clubs will be sponsoring activities outside if the weather permits. But we're going to have to see about the weather. Also, on Friday is Spotlight Serenade. That will be done during third period. You must have bought a ticket from student council the day prior in order to have a pass out of class to attend Spotlight Serenade. It's going to be a great competition. If you've never seen it before, you ought to get down there and see it. Now, over to sports. This is Mr. Macriello, your resident social studies teacher here at the high school, and I'm here with sports today. I'd like to start with local sports, Interborough High School. Unfortunately, there's no high school sports going on after Monday. The uh, baseball team suffered a tragic defeat at the hands of Central Bucks West, 12-3. The Bucks played a fantastic. Uh, see, the Bucks had a fantastic season. Um, struggled in the game. Uh, errors were their downfall, and that ended their season. However, they were Del Valle League champs and have a lot to be proud of. Um, in terms of national sports, I will start with the NHL. Um, seems the Flyers are the uh, champions of the town right now. Everybody's uh, you know on a real high. Um, the Stanley Cup Finals start this weekend, Saturday, 8 o'clock in Chicago. Flyers have a tough uh, task at hand facing stars like Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze. Uh, I look forward to watching the series and hopefully the Flyers can get a Stanley Cup victory. In the NBA, the Suns evened up the series with the Lakers last night, 2-2. Two to two. See, uh, that series is starting to ratchet up a little bit. Um, also, in the midst of the series, there's some talks of Phil Jackson possibly um, leaving the Lakers at the end of the season, which is adding some intrigue to an already interesting series. Um, the Orlando Magic are going to take on the uh, Boston Celtics tonight in a series where the Celtics have a 3-1 to one lead. Um, in terms of Major League Baseball, the Phillies uh, suffered another tragic defeat last night, losing to the New York Mets, their arch rival at Citi Field, 8 to nothing. Um, they were stymied once again by a knuckleballer, R.A. Dickey. Um, uh, they weren't shut out, which is uh, a little bit of good news, and Ryan Howard continues to hit. Um, just a hiccup in what has been a good season thus far, and I look for the Phillies to have some continued success. 
In the rest of the major leagues, uh, I know the Red Sox won last night. John Lester threw well. Nobody cares about the Yankees. Um, nobody really cares about anybody else but the Phillies, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, and that'll be sports for today. Thank you. As promised today, a special comment. I'm among the many graduates who have been here at Interborough High School today coming back for a visit. And in the process of wearing out my welcome, I've noticed that nobody came back who felt they were woefully unprepared for college. Everybody seems to be doing quite well. So that begs the question, are you doing everything you can to take advantage of what this place has to offer? So many extraordinary things have happened to me right here over four years, but it's all just a springboard for what was to come. I dreamed that one day I would get to a place where I would find something that I love to do and I would get to do it every day. Well, I found that place. For all of you seniors, I wish that for you. So let me make it easier for you and tell you what they tell you over and over at orientation. Make friends and make lots of friends. I can say that I have dozens. I have a handful I would consider to be very close friends. I have one of whom uh, I consider to be a very close friend. That's what part that really surprised me. And that's what makes me love my new home in California and the college life at the University of Southern California. And one more thing, if you have values and things you believe in, keep those things close to you. They will come in handy. And that's it for Kaleidoscope. I'd like to thank the crew for yielding the desk to me and taking the day off to allow me to do this. They'll be back with you tomorrow. I'm Barry Harris. Good day and good luck. <laughs>